Hi YouTube, um, I'm going to go over a, a job I'm doing now, I'm just setting up to do now, um, and it's a, an alternator job on, on lithium batteries. Um, and the reason I'm putting this video out is because I don't, I don't think people realise what a decent setup can be and, and, what, um, and what an alternator controller can do to, um, for charging lithium. So I've already done the lithium install. Um, there's, there's a link below in the description just to an Instagram post um, with pictures and photos of that, of that setup to, to give you an idea. Um, and now I'm sorting the charging set, um, system out. So the engine's a Beta 38, um, popular engine over here in the, in the UK, and it's, um, it's on a 50 foot narrow boat, maybe 2005, 2006 era. Um, and it's got twin alternators. So it's got a little 40 amp or a 45 amp alternator for the start battery, and then a, um, a domestic alternator, 70 amp Iskra domestic alternator. And um, one of the um, advantages of this particular setup uh, of this engine is it's running a, a 6PK poly V pulley setup. Um, so it lets you it lets you fit a much bigger alternator. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna fit a 200 amp alternator and, and use a an alternator controller to um, to control it. And um, you couldn't normally fit that size alternator to this engine or, or to any of the typical narrowboat engines really from kind of. 30 horsepower to like 50 horsepower, you find that um, the loads with a, with a decent pulley setup, the loads at lower engine speeds and it tick over are just too high. So, um, so an alternator controller um, has got some really, really useful features for, for, for lithium and, and it lets you, um, it lets you get the most out of the, out of the engine and out of the, the the alternator setup, um, so so I'm, I'm I'm fitting an Alpha Pro Master Alt Alpha Pro, and um, also also stock and install the the Wake Speed WS500, and um, and the Balma has has similar features too. So so one of the key features is, is small engine mode, and that lets you derate the alternator at at lower engine speeds. Um, and then this job, I'm gonna. I'm not sure exactly what it'll be yet, but it'll be somewhere between 40 and maybe 60 amps at, at the 800 RPM tick over. So it has that low tick over type um, power level, and then you set a second higher, um, higher RPM where you have full output. Um, and on this job, it'll be somewhere probably 1200 to 1400 RPM. Um, and and between those two points, when you start lifting the revs, um, there's like a, a linear progression in power. And if it's set up right, you don't realise there's any, any load on the, on the engine at all, yet you'll see serious power. Um, and I'll try, I'll try and put a clip of that to try and, try and um, show that happening. Um, but, but that's one of the, the, the kind of key features of these controllers. Um, so, so another feature, it lets you set a maximum output, like derate the max power of the alternator. And if you fit one of these controllers to, I'll show you the alternator, this is the 200 amp alternator. Um, and if you fit um, this controller to this alternator without adjusting any settings, you'll get, you, you'll get like 250, 240 amps out of it. Um, and it's too much, like long term for the reliability of the alternator, it's too much continuous that is, and I always derate it slightly. Um, but on this job, it's also got a decent solar setup. It's got a, um, it's got a 50 amp controller, and potentially you'll see 50 amps in the summer out of that. So we'll, we'll set it up probably around 150 amps, maybe a bit more, because you know, um, because there'll be a constant load anyway, uh, like a DC load. So something somewhere in that region will set it up. Um, but um, but it's possible to go up to I don't know maybe 180 amps um, continuous. Um, so I'm also fitting freewheeling pulleys 
and there's a few options there with it with this setup it's already got a really big crank pulley so i'm not I'm not entirely sure which one i'll fit yet um also there's different offsets so so it's uh, you know i keep i keep loads of these different pulleys in just to um when i'm when i'm doing the job to so, that, so there's no messing about and um and it's easy to set up um, and this exact setup this with a 200 amp bosch alternator and and a controller a wake speed or, or a mass fault controller um, i've got these setups for for the isuzu engines the, like the canal line in isuzu um with poly v conversion with the 6pk conversion and also some of the barris engines some of those setups they only had a v belt and um, but it's possible to to get a 6pk conversion for that as well so another feature is alternator temperature sensing so you'll you'll set you'll set it all off it'll all be running it'll be running at the max um, power that i set so i don't know 150 amps 180 amps and then as the alternator temp temperature increases the temperature sensor you set a, a max temperature that you're happy with and on this job i always keep it really conservative so um, it'll be like 90 degrees maybe 95 degrees max um, and as it approaches that temperature it starts it starts throttling back and and limiting current and it'll look after the alternator temperature you, you, you just know that you're always getting the most out of the alternator the very most out of the alternator that you can um, and it's surprising with a with a decent decent poly v setup it's surprising how long you can go at like full output for um, you know you can put serious power back in um, okay i think that's about it really i mean there's other features in that um, you can get a bms controlling the alternator um, and with a wake speed that's got CAN bus integration, which was really useful um, for, for like Victron and, and the the REC BMS that those setups that I fit. Um, but but the the Alpha Pros, it's um, it's a master vault thing where that's got their own master bus setup. But but you can also control it with signals, so you can get on this job now. I'm going to get the BMS communicating with it and 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 using the um, allow to charge relay. Um, controlling the, the, the alternator um, so there's more info in the description so read through the description and um, possibly a link to my website and um, I'll, it'll be a bit more concise in, in the description a bit more um, easy to understand um, but basically if you need this sort of work doing um, in the UK um, get in touch okay thanks for watching